So what's going on guys? My name's Jamie, welcome back to Officially Gas. Now today, we are back with something simply crazy. Guys, behind me, we have a kit car with over 600 brake horsepower per tonne. This is gonna be crazy. No windows, no doors, no driver's aids. Pray for us, stay tuned, it's gonna be nuts. Let's get it. Dave, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Mate, uh, we've got something very special today. Thank you. I would say. You have told me uh, off camera that uh, the power to weight on this is ridiculous. It's almost, or if not as much as a... Veyron, yeah, Veyron, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of over 600, 600 brake. per tonne, yeah. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. What is this car? So this car is called the Low Cost, which is L-O-C-O-S-T. Okay. Um, it was designed off plans, basically. So a guy called Ron Champion wrote a book called How to Build a Sports Car for 250 quid. Okay. Um, you basically bought a Sierra, you bought this book, you bought some box section, welded it together, took the bits off the Sierra, put them in the box section car, put it through an IVA test so the DVLA recognises it as a car and then off you go, you've got a sports car for okay. the price of a Sierra. Okay. Um, this was built from primarily Mondeo bits. Okay. Um, originally, people now use the MX-5 because they're the cheapest donor, so you put an MX-5 engine in and that's now the common sort of car to use it in but I've, okay. I've gone I've swapped my ZTEC engine out and put a 1.8 turbo from a 200 SX. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the power that it's making? So on low boost it's 350-ish, um, <laughs> high boost it got 376 on the rollers but it was spinning so it's probably 390 Jeez, plus something like that yeah. And how does that translate onto the road? Because Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking no traction control, no ABS, no, no driver aids at all? No, no power steering, no servo braking, wow. quick rack so it's half the number of turns left to right than oh, wow. you'd normally get a normal car, yeah, it's wow. different. So who's mapped up a car like this? So thing? the car was mapped by RS Tuning in Leeds. Okay. Um, I've always taken my stuff there. They, they're sort of primarily Renault specialists, but they do everything. Um, my ECU that I use is one called Max ECU, which isn't really heard of in this country. It's what, it's a Swedish, um, so it's a Swedish ECU. Um, all the sort of illegal drag cars in Sweden and stuff that do all the sort of road race stuff use them. Um, but it's it's pretty cool. It's it's a lot cheaper than Lynx and things, but it's got all the features that they have. Um, so Paul Iris tuning said, yeah, I'll have a go and got his head around it and mapped it up. Yeah, Wicked. it's good. It's got all the, you, you can do all the stuff you want, like launch control and traction control. It's got launch control. Yeah, it's got, you can, it hasn't got it traction control turned on, etc. but you can okay. do all that sort of stuff, but yeah. it'd be pointless on yeah. this. Going back to your engine and touching on it, obviously it's, it's, it's making perhaps near on 390 brake. What, what's taking the engine to that? Um, so everything that you can buy to, for an aftermarket CA18. So the engine CA18 DET, okay. um, it's got modified stump, um, Forged rods, forged pistons, ARP um, rod bolts, ARP head studs, metal head gasket, loads of head work, tubular manifold, um, GTX 2867 turbo. <laughs> it's really sweet. Yeah, 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 there's no <laughs> you can buy. Yeah, the, the only the only bit that hasn't been changed really is the cams. Um, okay. You can buy aftermarket cams for these, but they're all second hand now because the engine's 30 years old, so nobody okay. does bits for them if you like. Oh, yeah. um, so you put um, as a sort of get around, you put two exhaust cams in the engine and then you adjust the timing for the inlet one and do funky stuff like that. But other than that, it's everything that you can buy to upgrade it is Wicked. Wicked. in it. Um, light and flywheel, paddle clutch. Oh mate, it's, it's a race car. It's a, it's a race car for the road. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, yeah, a race car for the yeah. road. You've pretty much built this yourself, would we say? Yeah, sort up, of. Or swapped a lot of... Yeah, so the, the car was built primarily. I bought it as a rolling driving car. Yeah. I put it through the IVA test and then there's barred the chassis itself every panel has either been removed, changed, every part upgraded, yeah. because you have to, because it had 130 horsepower when I bought it, and now it's got 
three times that. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, you, stuff breaks or you yeah. know you need to yeah. upgrade yeah. it. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, wheels, brakes, and suspension then. Okay, so wheels are um, Pro Race One Point Twos, um, lightest you can get, you know, off the shelf. Mm -hmm. um, brakes are Willwood Two Hundred Eighty Mil Four Pots up front. The backs are Fiesta ST rear disc conversion. Um, the rear axles from a Ford Capri. Um, but it's been operated with a quaff diff. Um, suspension is Protect shocks, um, which nobody out of the kit car world will know, um, but they are one of the best shocks you can get for a, a kit car without spending you know, ridiculous yeah. amounts, amounts of money. Um, it's booked in for corner waiting next week, so unfortunately you, you haven't had it, had it when, when the geo's been set up, but it'll be, it'll be all right. That's right, add to the experience, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should we move on to the interior or lack of interior? Yeah, um, <laughs> I've got a bit of an obsession with carbon fibre, so yep. pretty much everything's carbon fibre. The dashboard is centre panels, one of the seats are, because I've not got around to fitting the other one yet. Okay. Um, rear panels, carbon fibre, side panels, arches, everything um there's literally nothing there's a steering wheel um the dash is an aim dash okay. so it's all can torch to the ecu through can so Wicked. don't need extra gauges or something like that and then a battery cut off wow. and a phone holder that's it before i ask you what this uh this this beast actually weighs um what, that steering wheel looks like it's out of one of the kids toys you know those little kids yeah, toys yeah, you get yeah. like the kids, kids electric cars it's tiny yeah it's, it's tiny. 240 mil which is it sounds quite big, but when you actually sit and hold it, it's not. It's smaller than a go-kart one. Um, <laughs> I think it's from a single-seater, like, uphill race car. Okay. I think it's from one of I bought it off an uphill um, racer's website, so, yeah. It's, oh, right. But it's cool. It adds to the experience. Yeah, it definitely will. Definitely will. Now, um, go on, then. What does this actually weigh? So, it weighs low 600s. Um, the last time I had it weighed, it was 670, and I've tried to weigh things as I've improved or changed them. So, when I swap the wheels, I save 10 kilograms side panels you know bits like that and i think i'm down to sort of low 620s ish okay. Okay. without me obviously yeah power to weight is um is gonna be absolutely bananas now today i mean it is a windy day um i'm hoping this audio here is coming out well because if it ain't i mean we're yeah we're in trouble for yeah, the drive yeah. uh, simply because this has no windscreen no and no doors no it's just us the car no. and the elements pretty yeah much. that's it yeah, yeah um we have got smash proof glasses that we're going to wear, yeah. possibly helmets if it yeah, gets a little probably bit Probably around helmets, yeah, yeah. Um, because apparently if a bumblebee hits you at 40 mile an hour, it's like yeah, it's, Anthony Joshua's just punching You'll lose your eye, yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we've got to be careful with this one. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be an experience. Um, would you say we've touched on everything? Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah? Sure. yeah. Very much looking forward to this. Everyone pray for me at home. <laughs> <and> <laughs> let's go for a rip in this bad boy. Cool. Let's do it, man. guys so we are now in the car obviously the revving sounds absolutely crazy uh, we're actually pulled up at the minute because I think um, where I usually have a bit of small talk at the beginning of the videos I think we're just gonna cut that out we're hoping you <laughs> we're just gonna go for it I'm hoping you're gonna be able to hear us we're mic'd up a lot of wind obviously no doors I can touch the floor it is crazy I can touch guys this is I'm panicking I'm a little bit nervous so I'm waffling so pray for me <laughs> Oh guys, this is going to be crazy. Uh, got our uh, goggles on. We're going to go no helmets at first. Let's see how it goes. Um, let's do it, bro. Low boost first, yeah. yeah I'll do low boost first. All right. Okay. Let's do it from the start. Okay. I don't know how 
kind of rack or whatever, we're dipping around, it's yeah. so precise, it's like... That's why I was saying George Gage, right? Hey, yeah, this is, guys, this is, this is something else. Are you going to try a second? I think we're going to try a second. Alright, Jesus Christ, alright. everything as I say my, my legs now when they're stretched out they literally just touch the pedal yeah. so I'm just using just my heel to, to kind of maneuver the clutch so when I actually have to press the clutch fully I dip below the screen I can't see the wheel I'm oh, sorry I can't see the road and then trying to keep it straight is another thing because yeah. of the short throw on the rack it just dips guys this is like nothing nothing I've ever driven in my life Mate, you were the bravest man thank ever. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, thank you. <laughs> Guys, you this is crazy. I mean, we got a good few shifts in there, and it made me feel, mate, uh, it just makes me feel so alive. I mean, the added danger factor <laughs> of the, do you know, this really could go wrong here because. You were a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> it was an amazing drive when you were driving, like, obviously, like, I was just enjoying it. I felt like I was on yeah, a roller coaster. This is a roller coaster on the road. Um, and then when I'm driving it, mate, I just. Had it, if it was custom to me, yeah. it would be amazing. Well, that's you know the best I mean? thing about kick cars, you build it to be 100% yeah. to you, yeah. and that, the racks be moved, the seats be moved, yeah. it's, it's yeah. for me. It's for you. But, yeah. mate, honestly, the, the few good gear changes I've got and the feeling its power on high boost, everything makes amazing. Yeah, fourth, amazing. fourth gear feels good. As a passenger in fourth gear, when you back off, it uh -huh. properly throws you back. Really? Yeah. Really? You a, lot, a lot more than when you, because obviously when you're driving, you're holding <laughs> onto the wheel. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. Um, Right, well, I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, all I can say is that you're a hero. Thank you so much. No, you're welcome. Um, welcome. Please, is there any socials, in fact? Shall I turn this off so you can... Yeah, go on. Yeah? Is there any socials that you want to shout out that people can find you on? Yeah, my please. Instagram is lowcost underscore turbo. Okay. And the YouTube channel's the same. Wicked. Well, guys, I'll leave everything below. You've got a YouTube channel? Yeah, I've got a YouTube channel. Guys, you've got a YouTube channel. If you want to see more of this beast being driven properly, all make the dodgy, sure you go... All the dodgy stuff's on Instagram dodgy stuff's on instagram so get over to both of them subscribe and follow guys if you have enjoyed today please don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, we survived today thank god thank god make sure you come back next time for some more content i can't even speak peace out guys <laughs> mate this is this is ridiculous let's watch that back <laughs>